Can you understand me like that, or should I use the microphone? I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me? Okay. Dear Toastmaster, dear fellow members, imagine a city, a city where you, where you have never been before. Strange smells, unknown streets, curious buildings. Now imagine a cozy room with high bookshelves, a, table, a marble table, and a parquet floor. Which of these two environments would you prefer? I would enjoy both of them, and I want to tell you why. There are two major aspects I care about. First of which is the curiosity to discover new things and the thirst for adventure. And second of which is ambition and determination. I want to illustrate those two aspects by sharing two stories with you. First of which is about some of the journeys I made in the last couple of years. I had only turned 19 when I decided to pack my things and travel to Ireland. And one night, after a long hike, I was lying in my tent. And I thought, I want to go farther. So I had not turned 20 yet when I packed my things again. And I traveled to Vietnam. This was farther for sure. And while the airplane was descending towards Ho Chi Minh Airport, I kind of panicked. I thought, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> so, I had just turned 21 when I packed my things for a third time. And I traveled to Venezuela. I spent two nights in a, in a camp in the jungles of the Orinoco River. And it was a camp that could be only reached by boat. It was a camp which had to be protected by soldiers because of the insecurity in the country. And again I thought, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> the thirst for adventure and the curiosity to discover new things, referring to as wanderlust. I'm a geek though. I spend a lot of time in the library. And whenever I get a grade which is worse than an A, I'm rather disappointed. But the second story won't be about how I sit in a how I sit how I spend hours in the library, reading books about corporate taxation and enjoying it. The second story will be about pursuing a goal. At my home university, there's a Model United Nations program. This program spans intense classes about negotiation skills, and about speech performance. And eventually the participants of this program represent our university at a competitive conference in New York City. When I first heard about this, I thought, wow, I gotta do that. So I applied. And I handed in my application only a couple of minutes before the deadline had expired. And anyway, I thought, yeah. That was a real great application. They'll take me for sure. And a couple of days later, I was rejected. But I thought, I really, I really wanted to, I really wanted to join this program. I really wanted to represent my university in New York City. So one year after, I applied again. And this time I triple checked the deadline in order to make sure that I had enough time to write a real great application. And eventually I was accepted and I joined the program. Ambition and determination, referring to as the library. I introduced my speech with, I introduced my, I introduced my speech picturing two different environments. A vibrant city and a quiet room. I would enjoy either of these environments. The city would be an alien environment staffed with so many new things to explore. The quiet room would be 
a convenient environment, a comfortable environment to pursue my academic objectives. And studying in Taipei unites both. It unites Wanderlust and the library. Thank you.